Stephanie, what's the first thing that you think of when I say the luggage store? The luggage store, Hawaii. Okay. You know, packing my bag, sun, the beach, my ties with little umbrellas and a glass. Right, but actually, the luggage store is a unique San Francisco art gallery. Here, let's find out more about it. My name is Daryl Smith, uh, co-founder of the Luggage Store Gallery and with my partner Lori Laser, the innovators of this project, the Tenderloin National Forest, or what it's become known as. We were a small group of residents who took over the ground floor and wanted to open up a space for art and performance and uh, looked immediately to the alley itself and its potential for the rest of the residents that live around it that I figure is somewhere around 300 and four buildings. The idea that, um, that low-income people uh, should have a great and beautiful place to live around. And it was the inspiration uh, for our engagement with this alley and extending the programming from the interior space outside uh, to do public art and performances and later food uh, events such as uh, Fresh from the Oven that Amara Tabor Smith has been organizing here once a month. How a photograph is an object surrendering all of its light to the camera. How self-hatred is a body surrendering all of its pieces to the stereotype. By graduation, I am the war photographer who can't put the camera down and just say, here, drink deep. The whole idea of it started back in 1989. We moved forward with a lease with the city eventually after a lot of demonstration of what, what could happen here. 1990, he had an art show here in Ali. And that was just to cement the floor as alley. And then no mural or nothing, just bare uh, the, you know, alley way. And we've been uh, incrementally finding funding uh, over the years since then to just expand on some of the ideas and actually even push beyond some of the expectations for what could happen out here. I think that, you know, what they all have been trying to do here for a long time is to make this a special place, you know, different alley, a different type of urban space. And this is just one more contribution to it. You think that's how I feel? Yeah, I do. Some of the foliage, some of the trees are, you know, speak to other parts of the world. The Tenderloin being on this place um, that is so international, so layered multiculturally, linguistically, you know, just we wanted all, we wanted these cultural um, references to somehow get um, woven into the fabric of what is this, this place. Coming up next, the very best Coming up next, the very best of SF. Hi everyone, I'm Kayanne and welcome to the best of San Francisco, where we explore, you guessed it, the best of SF. San Francisco is an amazing city and its uniqueness is mirrored in some of its most historic buildings. Mission Dolores is no exception and is San Francisco's oldest intact building in the city. Mission Dolores was formerly named Mission Francisco de Assis, but was more popularly known as Arroyo de los Dolores or Creek of Sorrows because of a nearby creek. Not only is the Mission Dolores a historic site, it's still a place of worship and a place of remembrance. 
Mission Dolores is the only cemetery within San Francisco. You'll find more than 5,000 Native Americans and some of the West's founding pioneers buried here. A statue of Father Junipero Serra, the founder of Mission Dolores, marks the center of the cemetery. In June of 1776, Father Junipero Serra and Father Francisco Palu conducted the very first Mass under a temporary shelter. And later that year, the Mission Dolores was established. Since 1776, the Mission Dolores has withstood Mother Nature's greatest shakeups, but even the most historic places need a facelift now and then. The gardens have been restored and embellished with native vegetation from the 1791 period and showcase Native American artifacts. Today you can tour Mission Dolores and even attend Mass. Like the Mission Dolores' garden, there's another site in San Francisco that's received a facelift. If you're an avid farmer's market patron, then you'll definitely recognize our next site, the Ferry Building, located on Embarcadero and Market Street. Today, you'll find artisan cheeses, meats, sweets, and coffee inside the building. But back in the early 1900s, the Ferry Building was the center of transportation for travelers coming from the East Coast, Marin, and the East Bay via ferry boat or train. Like the Mission Dolores, the Ferry Building has withstood the Great Earthquake of 1906 and the Quake of 89, and is the largest foundation over water in the world. Since the construction of the Bay and Golden Gate Bridges, traveling by ferry became virtually obsolete. In 1978, the Ferry Building was listed as a National Historic Landmark. Ooh, I smell some wonderful food here. I suddenly hear my stomach growling. That wraps it up for us, but stay tuned because we have more IDTV right after this break.